Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, where shall I start? Well, it's been said that Jewish women are known to speak out and tell you what they think, and I'm one of them. I'm so tired of hearing Trump put down America, saying make America great again, because America has been great since 1776, and it's still great in 2024. I want a president who believes that we can do anything if we work together. And that's why I'm thrilled to support Kamala Harris and Tim Walz, who have brought a new sense of optimism, energy, and excitement to this campaign. Kamala Harris is a terrific combination of both compassion and strength, a joyful warrior who will fight for the values that so many of us hold dear. She's been a consistent advocate for programs that promote gender equality, social justice, and voting rights while uh, Trump is telling his followers, after this election, you won't have to vote anymore. Can you imagine? In contrast, Kamala Harris understands just what a privilege it is to be able to vote, and her commitment to health care, social security, education, and to combating climate change are the policies of someone who cares about the future of our country our children, and our planet, and not just the profits from big oil. Women are nurturers who take care of others and can think beyond themselves. But Trump, who cares only about himself, insults any woman who questions him, calling them nasty. I don't think he even respects women because he appointed Supreme Court justices who took away a woman's right to control her own body after 50 years of having that freedom. I don't know of any equivalent law giving the government control over men's bodies. Clearly, in some people's eyes, women don't count. Oh, but we will in November when they count the votes. Anyway, I'm gonna take a sip. Trump's pick for, Trump's pick for vice president believes women should stay at home. And he says that careers, their careers are to blame for what he calls our nation's moral decline. But Vance's moral compass seems off because he sees nothing wrong with his running mate, a convicted felon who talks about law and order, but doesn't think it applies to him. If Trump and Vance are elected, we have a preview of their plans in Project 2025, which is a naked grab for power, a, a blueprint for a dictatorship. And that's alarming to anyone who cherishes our constitution. So now Trump is lying again about his connection to it. When you think of our great presidents like Washington, Jefferson, and Lincoln, they didn't use fear and hate to pit people against each other. Instead, they tried to bring us together and their open hearts and minds changed the world. This is how we make progress, not with hateful, divisive leadership, but with Kamala Harris, a woman who has compassion for all human beings, unlike her opponent who lacks intelligence, judgment, and heart. Our society will flourish with a smart, experienced woman who will defend our rights and send Trump back to where he belongs in his golf cart, lying about his scores. One last thought. At our Passover Seder every year, we like to expand on the traditional stories of Jewish men to include and celebrate Jewish women, rebellious women like Esther and Miriam, 
Too often the word re rebellious is used to describe women who challenge authority, but without that challenge, change rarely happens. So let's all find our own rebellious spirit to fight hard for our country. Your vote is your voice. Let it be heard loud and clear in support of Vice President Kamala Harris, who makes good choices, like her wonderful running mate, Governor Tim Walz. And let's not forget, she married a nice Jewish guy. Thank you all so much. I hope your evening goes as well as I want it to go.